started. Um, I just have some general announcements I'd like to make before we get going. I'm sort of give a status of a few things. Um, most recently, um, the industry saw the division's position on the what I know as the industry's 35 day rule. Um, it's one of those things um, that's addressed in the Constitution, it's also uh, addressed in the legislation. And uh, quite frankly, our uh, position statement really just echoes those two pieces of, of law. Um, but it's one of those things that um, if you ask for the division's position very candidly, we're going to tell you where we stand on it. And so um, if you don't want to be bound by you know, what we're telling you, it's one of those things you probably don't want to ask at this point. In response to that 35-day rule, um, very candidly, I am aware of a piece of legislation already. Um, that will address that issue. Um, I'm just not at liberty to really discuss specifically, you know, the, the specifics of it and bill sponsor and those kind of things. They just haven't been authorized to release that. Uh, there's another piece of legislation uh, that I'm aware of and it deals with the residency issue as well. And it's another one of those things where um, I can't disclose the bill sponsor or the specifics of it, but at least those two pieces or those two issues will be addressed during the next session, I'm sure. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about the banking status in Colorado, which from my standpoint, I know as well as many in this room, is a huge issue for us. Um, from a regulatory perspective, it, it, it causes the cash business, and anytime you have huge amounts of cash, um, it's just inherent in crime, and an increase in crime, and all those other kind of things. It creates additional issues that, uh, quite frankly, I don't think are good for any of us. Um, I would much rather have your deposits going into a bank and paper trails and all the other kinds of things, and I'm sure you feel exactly the same way. Uh, but I'd like to take a moment and give a kudos to Bob Dill. Um, if you're not familiar, uh, Bob is one of our work group members here. He wrote a uh, very nice letter to Secretary of the Treasury, Tim Geithner. Um, I have a copy of it, um, urging them to, uh, to deal with the banking issues here in Colorado. And Bob, I just wanted to publicly acknowledge your efforts, so thank you for doing thank that. Thank you. Sorry um, I didn't get a response yet. It could be, it could be a lot. Um, on that same topic, though, I do have some good information for you. Um, I was contacted by a VP of a, um, a state bank here in Colorado. Um, they're very excited about working with the medical marijuana industry in all facets of banking, lending, um, checks, the whole nine yards, um, and uh, I know that their, uh, their president is coming into town, they're, they're housed out of Texas, but they have local banks here in Colorado uh, later this week and wants to meet with me and I uh, will give him the time that he needs um, to see what issues, if any, he has, but I got a very, very nice email, um, I have a few telephone conversations with him, ongoing dialogue. Um, they're very anxious about servicing this industry on a statewide basis, not just in one specific locale um, here in Colorado. It may take them you know, a little bit to, to get set up on a statewide basis, but at least that opportunity is coming. Um, if you're interested, it's Colorado Springs State Bank. Um, right now, they're at 3110 North Nevada Avenue. Their phone number for those who are interested is 719-473-2000, and they are desirous of uh, coming to a forum like this, or perhaps an MMBA meeting, or any other industry meeting where they can uh, meet with the industry um, to set up accounts and all those kind of things. And I'm not in a position where I can endorse any kind of a bank, but I certainly would be passing on this kind of information as it uh, becomes available. Uh, for the work group participants, um, I passed out a spreadsheet that has early contact information on it. Um, it's for your own personal use. If you have a need to communicate with others on the work group, um, this is your mechanism to do it. I would encourage you to do so as we move forward um, discussing the various issues. Uh, the agenda for today... Can I make one correction on the sheet? Uh, the last name is Bregman, B-R-E-G-A-N. I go to life with Bing Bergman, but I like with Bing. Welcome to the family. Guilt by association. No problem. B-R-E-G-A-N. Thank you very much. My email address as well. It's Cheryl at Herbal Health Systems with an S dot com instead of Herbal Health. That might be why I'm not. Say that again, Cheryl at at herbalhealthsystems.com. 
And if you look at me again, I'm at 1250 Humboldt Street, 1404, Denver, Colorado, 80218. Trying to get personally all I live a mysterious life, but not as I do. I'm well, be sure to get those. Denver, 80218. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Uh, the agenda for today, um, I'd like to continue discussing uh, truly the pure regulatory drafts that uh, I gave you the initial 90 some odd pages. Um, we're making some very good uh, headway here uh, and very good progress. I'm real excited about um, the efforts of everybody at this table and uh, your commitment to making this process happen and I, I absolutely appreciate that. The last meeting uh, we discussed a number of, um, of rules. I have passed out to you a um, handout form. There's actually two packets that are paper put together. One has the first three, I believe there are three rules, uh, that we did the very first meeting we had. The remainder are the drafts from the last meeting. And um, in connection with that, I, I don't know that we should spend a lot of time this morning going through them. They are the comments um, that you gave me at the last meeting. Take a look at them. Uh, the only one I want to point out is the Reg 43304 transfer of ownership and the changes in license entity. Bob's going to work on that one and uh, we'll bring that to the next meeting. Um, other than that, um, we are making substantial progress. I'm very satisfied with that. Um, we did break up into subgroups at the last meeting and the uh, the sheets on the wall behind me. I apologize for the medical one, Docs, if you need a band-aid on one of those things. But, uh, these are kind of the things that um, uh, the assignments that we gave to the various um, industry representatives are here. I believe there are nine different groups represented. Uh, I don't expect things to happen overnight with these. It's going to take really some, some lengthy meetings. But what I will ask before the end of the day today is kind of a timeline, a commitment of when you think you may be able to bring these issues back to the group, um, your various assignments. So if you were the, the spokespersons for your, your various groups, um, maybe we can huddle together, you can forecast some timelines. I'm, I'm not even going to hold you to them, you know, to, to a tight line, but I would like to move the, the process forward. And some issues are obviously easier than others. Um, I think just finding consensus out there on some of these things is um, probably going to be very difficult. But uh, that is the challenges of these processes. So, again, I appreciate your efforts. Uh, let's uh, let's move uh, into well, let's discuss something. Uh, two other discussion items: uh, point of sale systems and uh, video requirements. Um, regardless of what the media has been reporting lately, and I should tell you on the front end, don't believe everything that you see in the media first. <laughs> Secondly, don't believe everything that you see my name attached to. Um, I would strongly caution you and advise you against that. Um, the reality is, is the point of sale systems and the video uh, requirements under HB 1284 or the rulemaking that will ensue are probably going to be the most contentious, most laborious areas that we're going to have to deal with. And to that, to that end, um, I know Dan has uh, done at length work already uh, putting subcommittees together and, and those kind of things or just developing subcommittees. And so with that, I'll, Dan, I'll just pass it to you if you can just give us a brief update on um, where we're at with those two issues. I'd appreciate it. Sure. I know there was a lot of talk about, as Matt said, about the different things that we, that we have planned and, uh, and how, how much we're going to be um, in or, or doing in, in general, just in the video and, uh, and the EOS systems. What, uh, what we'd like to do is, or what we plan to do is, we, we, we've got some standards that we, that we kind of came up with some draft standards to put together and, and, and kind of get out into the industry a little bit. Uh, what we've done is started to get feedback from, from not only just, just the normal uh, industry people, but the experts that that serve, that serve you out there on your video systems and your security systems and also on the POS. There's an awful lot of systems out there and a lot of people that can and do work with them. What we're, what we're really trying to do is find a, uh, a good way uh, to, to complete our, our job of tracking, uh, tracking the, the product 
from seed, really from seed to sale, or all the way through, all the way through the process. We're we're developing an in-house uh, 